I recently read a post on CG Society's forums by user Heinz where he asked if there was a way to make the wheels on a car rotate automatically when the car is moved. So I thought we could take a look at how we could do that easily using Lightwave's relativity. Let's hop over to Modeler so that we can prep our vehicle. Here I've got a simple uh, smart car model and I've broken it up into two different layers. Uh, in this layer I have everything except for the front tire here and we'll go ahead and just work on one tire because once you've done it to one you can use the same setup for each one. So I'm going to start by setting up the pivot point for our base car and we'll go over to the view tab and we'll choose pivot and I'm just going to place my pivot point behind uh, basically lining it up with the, the rear axle. So if we want to take it even further we can already have the pivot point for the car where it needs to be. I'm going to hop over to layer 2 and let's zoom in and let's move our pivot point to the center of our tire. Let's get it over here as well. Okay, And the closer you get it to the center the better. Okay, So we'll go ahead and commit to that. And the last thing that we'll want to do, uh, because it'll come in handy whenever we're setting up our expression in relativity, is we're going to need to know the diameter of the tire. So I'm going to come back over to this layer and to do that let's go to the detail tab, measure, and let's choose the measure tool. Okay, We're going to be able to read down here in the the left corner, we're going to be able to read the measurement. So I'll go ahead and click and drag and we've got 226 millimeters. So we'll go ahead and uh, remember that setting. Okay, 226 millimeters. And we're ready to hop over to layout. So I'll go ahead and save off our changes and then let's send this over to layout. And now over in layout, I'm just going to change, let's go to the perspective view. And, uh, and I'm just going to kind of frame this so that we can just focus on what we need to focus on. Now the first thing I need to do is parent the wheel so that when I move the car the wheel goes with it. So I go ahead and select that, hit M for motion options and for parent item I'll pick layer 1 which is the car. Go ahead and close that down. Let's test this out. Yep, when I move the car we're set. So let's have the car start here and we'll scrub over to frame 60 and we'll have the car move say here. Okay. And so we want when the car is moving we want this wheel to automatically rotate. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to grab the front tire, hit M for motion options and under add modifier let's choose relativity. I'm going to double click to open up the panel and we want our tire to rotate in the pitch automatically so under P for pitch we're going to come over here to ask a professor and let's choose Dr. Wheel Rotator. Okay, And it says enter the item driving this rotation. Well that would be the car so I'm going to pick item. Now I could pick it from a list or I'm just going to pick parent. It'll automatically pick the tire's parent. So I hit OK and it says enter the wheels diameter. Well that's why we went ahead and measured in Modeler and it was 226 millimeters. Okay and I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Now what we have here is the expression that Relativity wrote for us, that, that Dr. Wheel Rotator wrote for us and we should be set. Let me go ahead and hit continue and we can go ahead and close down our motion options panel and as I scrub through you can see that the tire is rotating as the car is moving. So we don't have to calculate the uh, amount of rotation that that wheel needs. It's going to automatically be generated for us. So hopefully this will give you an idea of just how powerful relativity can be and expressions inside of Lightwave. If I go ahead and hit M for motion options and double click relativity again we can see that there's all different sorts of doctors to help us write expressions. But we're not limited to these. We can write custom expressions um, in relativity as well. But this isn't a bad place to start to learn how to write expressions by studying what these doctors, what these professors create for us right here.